written were about. We started when a verbal promise was made to us. I cannot say, neither can I tell, if any of us that started there saw or were able to see a convincing document or something related that to the promise we made there. I won't blame anybody, I won't blame us because I myself, I was a victim. We are in a very difficult system. We are in a very harsh uh, community where we are so desperate to have a change in narrative on, in our life or livelihood. It is bad for us. It's, it, it, it's bad for us to uh, fall into any, uh, any, any road that we felt can lead us to a change in our life change in uh, uh, our, our source of living. Most of us fall into uh, what the decent of them at the end of the day. It took us two years, even three years, before we realized what was happening. Then a lot of grants started coming. Telpecom came. At the end of the day, after all the games that happened, we couldn't get anything. The lack of uh, even a common word, the lack of Golden Bridge, the lack a lot of grants has been flown that did not end result. Likewise, when we entered Tubat, we got all sorts of promises. He promised alone, he promised alone can uh, uh, make sure us to succeed in life. I think the promise we had in Tubat was enough because I have dreamed all sorts of big things in life that are we going to have with your bad grant, but at the end of the day, nothing come out. The frustration, the depression we experience in your bad, we have lost our, 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 our wealth, we have lost our property, in fact, we have lost our loved ones. That frustration and depression got us into another phase of grant in Nigeria. And at that point, at that point, we are so sorry that we never meant to mislead anyone. Neither did we deliberately manipulate information to deceive any of you. But with the best of our knowledge, what we think we know that was what we were giving to you and what we were operating on. That took us for years. That, that took us for years. Let me say one year or two years. At the end of the day, we get into another phase of the grant. But out of resilience, out of responsibility, out of perseverance, out of commitment to come back with something, we did not want to give up, despite the hardship, the obstacles, and the challenges we are we were facing. We refused to give up because the worst any failure is giving up. Not giving up, no matter how failed you are, it's not yet a failure. So we keep on pushing, we keep on pushing. We want to tell you that during the time of we propagating men, we thought we have had it all, but I want to tell you that a lot has come up that we never knew. Then, that is why for some times now we are silent because we are planning and having the best approach to address Nigerians. All hope is not lost, but the fact has to be told. We are promised you that there are billions of dollars somewhere. We are promising that there are billions of dollars somewhere. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you that effort has been, commitment has been pushed, even our resources have been exhausted in finding specific documents, in finding uh, uh, every step to claim this money. But I want to tell you that, yes, all this effort has not given us any results yet. We have uh, actually made all sorts of propagation. Fine. We thank Almighty God.
for giving us a, a confidential fact or evidence to claim those our um, uh, assertion. On that note, God, in His infinite mercy, decided to grace us. As I'm talking to you now, we have been led into another phase of grant, which I said as if we must be honest with you, if we must be sincere to you, we have to open up to you that we should just absorb, narrow our mind to see that we are not sentimental to accept the reality on ground. What is this reality on ground? The reality on ground is that we have entered the government or the authorities compound. We have entered the authority cycle. Possibly out of our prayer, my prayer and your prayer, our patience, our perseverance, maybe some of you or one of us has that good luck. God accepted the prayer that the authority has accepted to give us something to take home. In fact, I don't, as it is now, I don't have the confidence to call it grant. If I call it intervention fund, I don't think I'm mistaken. What we are expecting now, what we are expecting now, I want to tell you that this is something that is coming from the mercy of the authorities, from the government of Nigeria. And so far so good, with the ground we, the leadership of Oga Pedro Group is operating now, I want to tell you that it has never been like before. We have related with ghosts that claim to be helping us. At the end of the day, they, have, they end up duping us, collecting our money. You people can understand the lack of international community. It was out of our genius to lay our hand on something to claim what we thought is there for us. But we end up entering the class. We have the, uh, the lack of international community in numbers that collected our money at the end of the day, no resource. Please, if you people must open our hearts to forgive us, I don't want you people to have anybody as your enemy. Not even a post -token. not even a member. Nobody, because all of us wanted good for all of you. All of us wanted good for all of you. And we have suffered in the past. We have been tortured, all of us have been tortured in the past. Out of responsibility, that is why we went on our way. If not, if all of us should have been given up, if nobody should have taken responsibility, maybe the issue of grant has been buried by now. But at least